rod look like a 360 they look like smaller than a 316 you know, like a 316 rod so cool which I use quarter rod so I may be replacing that with a quarter we'll see I right, hear some of your raceway parts so you will have to be cut off here or paint and done up and then cut off here so your raceway parts yeah these are just some smalls these are just some small parts yeah, I like the quarter inch. I usually skip the 316. I usually go quarter inch um, rod. So we'll see. We'll see about that. Or he offered these rails too. I don't have a rail launcher, so it's going to be a rod of some sort. Unless I figure out the 316 with that pad that I have. So those are some small parts. Now we're going to move to some more parts for you. Yeah, he, uses, he uses a lot of bubble wrap, which is nice. I appreciate the being safe keeping all the parts in good condition so we got some stuff here I'm not going to know the name of all these parts but we all know the capsule so that's easy I just want to see some of the quality of the, the detailing on these all right so here we go actually I got the the sheet over there oh that's cool that's so cool look at that look at that let me uh yeah I can get the sheet so I can say what these parts are it'll be better that way It'll be better. All right, so yeah, here we have the second stage display motor. That's what this is, second stage display motor. Nice, so that's good Good stuff already, good stuff already. This is the interstage tank top. Yep, that's kind of easy to see. This is the interstage. So I'm guessing this guy will go on here. I see some stuff through. Oh, yeah, okay. So something like that, this guy will go possibly. If that's the right direction, yeah, this may go on top of there. Yep, nice. And I'm thinking this guy will go, yeah, possibly like that or inside. Yeah, so just cool, just cool all around. Just wanted to show you some of the parts. So that is nice, nice. Man, this is, yeah, no complaints, no complaints. This is good stuff. All right, next up, a couple more parts here to get to. All right, so this is kind of the area where I guess your motors, let me see what they call this, the thrust bulkhead. So I can see kind of probably where the motors will seed in there some kind of way. And this is the, what is this part called? The, it looks a little different than what I see on there. I think this is the second stage layer bayonet coupler, coupler. If this is that, if I'm right, I don't know, I see this. I actually don't see anything that looks like this. I don't think they quite look like that. Well, yeah, I guess it would be what I just said, the second stage bayonet coupler. So that would be this part. On his, it's a little more detailing on it, a little more, hmm, it's interesting. Interesting, I'll see when I get to it. Hopefully everything still fits. This says, yeah, on the instructions, it says sand to see if uh, 18 millimeter motors will fit. Yeah, it fits. One there and one there, so they will go in there. I guessed that right. So that's these two pieces. Like I said, it looks a little different on the instruction sheet that I'm glancing at, and that's the only part like there's a little more something to it on there, but we'll get to it. All right, so that's these. That's these guys. Just kind of like that. Yeah, let me wrap them up. Also, guys, be sure to check the links below. Hit the like button while you're at it also. And don't forget your trading cards and some other stuff on the website. Some Kevlar. A 10 feet of Kevlar for like... I forget how much it's six bucks. It's definitely cheaper, and you can find it. Uh, mine is some of the cheaper Kevlar. You know, it's good for your A, B, C, D, and E engines. I use it on the F. I use it in my Goblin. It was fine. Actually, I went with the thicker stuff, so I would st I'll stop at E. Okay. Oh, so this is my um, Motor Trust Work Turbo Pumps. So look at all this. So this he detailed all this and got this all 3D printed. Very nice. Very nice job. So that's cool. Just little detailing parts. Nice, wow, the 3D printing world, man. They, and they got it, you know, tucked in here to protect it. So that's kind of cool. So they had that, oh, that was by itself. So let me see how I can get this wrapped back up. Very nice, man. Like I said, those boys kits, if you, you want some scale ones, which I'm, I've gotten away from scale. I've been trying to fly a little bit of everything, you know, because people are just coming into the hobby and I fly some of the easier stuff. Like I flew a beginner's kit a while ago. The little Mars, um, I forget what it's called. It's one of their Mars series rockets. So here we go. This is the final part, I believe. 
Yes, nothing else in the box. Like I said, no tubes or anything. You have to do your own thing. But here we have the Gemini capsule parts. So here is actually, this is my first time seeing it. This is actually the capsule. Very nicely detailed. Nice. It's very nice. You can still see that faint line from the 3D printing, but who can, I can't complain about this. This is a nice job. So you got the capsule, you got the capsule adapter, and all this stuff can come apart. That is, that's cool. That's cool. So you got the capsule adapter that links on there. And then you got the shoulder. And you got the shoulder and that sticks on there. Oh, you can see here, it did a real heavy duty notch for you to loop your shock cord and parachutes or whatever too. That's right in there. I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not, but that's the whole piece. That is it. So build this around a couple VT-80s and you have a rocket. So this is very cool. So here's all the parts. I mean, everything's still wrapped up, but this is all the parts along with the instructions and decals. You have to supply engine block parachutes, 230 inch parachutes it recommends. And you also have to supply your motor mount tubes. And I may be, like I said, I may update, upgrade the launch lugs. I may go with the quarter launch lugs. I may go with the quarter ones. Because I don't have a 316 rod. I'm not sure if my pad will fit the 316 rod. Now, I don't want to use a small pad. I want to use the big pad. So, cool. This is a good job by Boyce. Nice release. So, I'm either building this next or the Saturn 1B, which I just showed you before this. Um, that's some things to figure out. So we will see. We will see what I decide to do. It's going to be happening soon. Um, what do you guys think I should build next? By the time you see this, I may already have started. Um, I may have already started the build, so it may be too late. I'm just wondering what you guys would like to see. This is Model Rocks 321. Be sure to subscribe. Hit the like button. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate the support on the cards. I appreciate, appreciate you guys purchasing um it it means a lot to me trust me i really do appreciate you taking the time to send me a few bucks for my model rocks 321 products and i allow me to do more and do more launches get out in the field more bring more videos and hopefully release another set set number two it will happen because the demand or the that um the support on set number one let me know that people do like the cards uh, you know it's it's something new in the hobby. I mean, as far as a set of cards, I want to do something for us, sports and other, every other genre has their cards. I mean, you guys may not know, but there are a lot of cards for everything. So I wanted to have some cards for, um, for our hobby, for our thing. So model rocket cards. We have model rocket cards, guys. There are already space cards, but there are no specific model rocket cards. And if you haven't seen them, if you're new and you want to know what I'm talking about, you know what I want to know what I'm talking about? If you're just joining this channel, you're just seeing this video, this is the first ever model rocket trading card. This is set number one, which you can get. One card will still be signed. I'm still signing the one I was in the magazine for, which is right here. Mine's not signed because it's my set, but your SR-71 Blackbird, the dual engines will be signed. Full details in the back of them and descriptions and specs and all kinds of stuff. So you guys can get these. Um, if you're, it's, this is for people who's brand new, so look for some sales, look for some cool stuff to come. I just got, got some things planned, some cool stuff's going to be happening. You never know that Freddy the Cat may try to show up again if you know about him. Um, we got to keep that guy up. I'm trying to keep him away. You know, he destroyed my goblin, which is right here. I blame that on him. I blame this broken fin on him, and I blame this crack fin on Freddy the Cat, so... He did this. He's responsible for this. So he's going to have to pay. He's going to have to pay up. He's going to have to pay up. <laughs> All right, guys. Model Rocks 321. Let me get out of here. Catch you on another video. Either the Saturn 1B or the Gemini Titan. Check the community section. I'm going to put a... It may already be up. may already be running by, you guys see, by the time you guys see this. I want to take a poll on what I should build next. It's going to be one of these. I'm ready to build something serious. I want to get a nice build going. Get some nice flights going this winter of one of these great, great rockets. Model Rock 321, and I'm out of here. Get your cards, support the link below, and I'm out. Peace. Attention Rocketeers, for the very first time, you can get your hands on an exclusive set of Model Rocket trading cards by Model Rockets 321.
These cards have been carefully created and represent a groundbreaking first in the world of rocketry with their glossy UV-coated finish. These collectibles are a must-have for anyone passionate about space and rocketry. This 12-card set includes detailed descriptions on the back of each card, plus three limited edition cards that will be vaulted after this release. Don't miss out! Secure your set right now by clicking the link in the bio.